Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about Franz Fanon and his views on post-colonialism. So let's start. Now who was Franz Fanon? Franz Fanon's full name was Franz Umer Fanon. He was born in 1925 on the Ireland of Martinique, which was under French colonial rule. He was one of the significant authors in Black Atlantic theory. He was a psychiatrist, activist, anti-colonial fighter, decorated war hero, and was the first major post-colonial theorist of the 20th century. Franz Fanon was a black man. During French Revolution, Martinican become free, but they were still dominated in all aspects of social, political, and economic life by the slave masters who were the head of the property of the Ireland. He also fought with French forces in World War II at the age of 18. After the war, he stayed in France to study medicines and psychiatry at the University of Lyons. During studies, he also writes essays and plays that are based on the subject of politics, racism, and psychology, etc. The 1954 Algerian revolt was met with a violent response involving torture, repression, physical abuse, and widespread killings of Algerians by the colonizers. This served to radicalize Fanon and he supported the revolutionaries in secret for two years before resi resigning from his job at the hospital in 1956 and joining the National Liberation Front. He moved to Tunis, founded the Mujahid, Freedom Fighter magazine and became a leading ideologue of the Algerian Revolution. He traveled widely in Africa to speak on his anti-colonial ideas and was an ambassador to Ghana for a period, though Fanon was from Antilles, following his experiences in Algeria, he came to think of himself as Algerian. He died of leukemia in Washington, 1961. Now it's all about the personal life of Franz Fanon. Now let's proceed towards his major works. The first work is Black Skin White Mask which was published in 1952 and the second one is Wretched of the Earth in 1961. Now let's move towards Black Skin White Mask, his views po viewpoints on his book Black Skin White Mask. So in the book Black Skin White Mask, one of the Fanon's key, key points refer to the process of cultural assimilation. Now what is cultural assimilation? Cultural assimilation is a process that occurs when the native culture of a colonized people is replaced by the culture of colonial power. It destroys colonized people collectively. In this book, he first of all talks about the culture of colonialism that prevents the colonized from developing an independent sense of identity, which in turn has a negative impact on their psychology. Secondly, because Western popular culture equates whiteness with purity and goodness and blackness with impurity and evilness, the colonized people learn to equate blackness with evil. Now in this book, he specifically talk about the marginalization that are faced by the black people. Fanon argues black colonial subjects realize that they have no viable identity, having learned from an early age that to be black is to be subhuman. They cannot identify as black. For Fanon, the colonized are caught in an impossible bind. They are both unable to celebrate their native culture and unable to achieve equality within the colonial culture. He argued that this deeply embedded message pushes the colonized into an agonizing psychological position. In this book, Fanon shows how the literature of black writers articulates the displaced identity of colonized people. As existentialism argues that individuals develop by exercising their own free will, seen in this light, colonialism which stifles the free will of the colonized is shown to be inherently dehumanizing. Basically, for Fanon, saying that the racist creates the inferior means that black people do not naturally feel inferior to white people White people instead creates the, this inferiority by claiming that the difference between white and black matters and the white is better than black. 
Racism creates the hierarchy which imposes inferiority on black people that over time black people internalizes. He wants people to focus on the present instead of focusing on the past so that no one will become a slave again. He concludes his book by saying that he will always be a man who questions. Now if we move towards the second book. So in The Wretched of the Earth, in his last book, The Wretched of the Earth, he talks about the psychological effect of colonization. The process of colonization gets into the psychology of the people and it's impacted a person in a long lasting manner. There is a social as well as economic effects as well. So uh, this book, the preface of this book was written by Jean Paul Sartre. This book was published after his death. He talked about lifelong observation and experiences of the psychological effect of systematic racism on black people. According to him, colonized masters represent natives as non-humans, animals, savages, beasts, demonic, as primitive. Native people experience sphinxocrensic conditions which result from duality. Colonization is affecting the psyche of the native people, according to Franz Fanon. In The Wretched of the Earth, Fanon propounded the idea of national literature and a national culture, recognizing the significance of the cultural nationalism leading to a national consciousness. He attempted to plead for a greater pan-African cause as the blacks had to create their own histories and rewrite their stories. Fanon believed that such a national culture make, sorry, must take recourse to the African myths and cultural practices he formulated the three stages in which a national culture is formed. The first one is, the native under the influence of the colonizer's culture seeks to emulate and assimilate it by discarding his own culture. The second one is, the native acknowledges the white disparity and discovers that he can never be truly white or white enough for the colonizers to treat him as equal and returns to study his own culture with a romantic and celebratory mood. However, in the third stage, the native is truly anti-colonial, accompanied by a critical analysis of his own culture. In this book, he also draws a parallel between female and working class because he thinks that the condition of female and working class is the same. Colonial masters and the elite people of post-colonial nations are the same because both of them exploit the working class. In this book, The Wretched of the Earth, Fanon de departed from the non-violent tone of the black skin white mask and argued that the colonized have the right to commit violence to give independence. So in both of these books, he basically talks about the marginalization and the effect of colonization on the black people and the black psyche. So that's all from my side. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you for watching.